This C-sharp tutorial shows you how to send text messages using Twilio, but for that we're going to need a phone number, so let's go get one. We'll start in the Twilio console and search for a 267 area code phone number. I'll buy the first Philadelphia phone number, I'll click buy this number, and then setup number, and we're good to go with our phone number. To send an outbound SMS, your application makes a post request to Twilio, and Twilio sends a text message. It's that simple. We'll start with a .NET console application, and I'll use the NuGet Package Manager console to install the Twilio helper library for C Sharp. Once that's installed, I'll add some using directives to pull in the Twilio namespaces that we'll need for a project. That's the Twilio, Twilio REST API account, and the Twilio types namespaces. Next, we'll need some account credentials that you can find inside of the Twilio console. This is going to be the account SID and auth token for your account. Just head to twilio.com slash console if you need those. I'm going to pull those values out of environment variables for both the account SID and the auth token. Then I'll use those two values to initialize a Twilio REST client object. We need a to and from phone number for sending a text message. The to phone number is going to be my phone number. This is the format for phone numbers when you use them with Twilio but I have my phone number stored in an environment variable, so we'll get that from there instead using the my phone number environment variable. The from phone number is going to be the Twilio phone number that we purchased earlier. That's the 267-930-2689 phone number. Now that we have our two phone numbers, we can create a text message using the message resource.create method. This is going to take the to phone number, the from phone number, and then a body for the text in the text message. And that's just going to say, congrats on sending your first text message using C-sharp. When the message is sent, we'll log out the message's ID so that we know it was successful. And then we'll just pause the console app to wait for us to punch a key. We'll run it and the text message will get sent and the message will appear on my cell phone. That's all there is to it to sending text messages using C-sharp with Twilio. That's going to do it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, please consider clicking the subscribe button over on the left. If you want to watch another video, I picked one out just for you in the top right. And if you're looking for the code, there's a button in the bottom right for that. Until next time, I'm out of here.